Hello, welcome to Dia's Kitchen. Today we will be making Murukku. So let's see what all ingredients we need for this. For this we need 1 cup of rice flour, 2 tablespoons of urad dal flour, 2 tablespoons of butter, quarter tablespoon of cumin or jeera and quarter tablespoon of sesame seed and around 1 tablespoon of chilli powder. We also need some salt to taste, a pinch of asafoetida and some oil for frying. We also need a dough press like this and also this for making the murk. Now to a bowl let's add the rice flour, urad dal flour, chilli powder, cumin seeds and sesame seeds. A pinch of asafoetida and some salt to taste. Now melt the butter and also add it to this and give everything a good mix. Once that is done, add a little water and try to make this into a dough. Add water little by little because we don't want the dough to turn very watery. So make sure to add it little by little at a time. So here you can see that I have formed the dough. Uh, the dough has to be soft like this and it shouldn't stick to your fingers. At the same time it shouldn't be very hard. Only if it is soft like this you will be able to form the shape of the murka. So place the small circular disc that forms the shape of the murka inside the press and fill the press with the dough. Close it and just press a little to see if uh, the dough comes out properly so it has to come out like this if it's too watery or too hard it will not come out easily like this if the dough is too hard it will break as you press and if it's too watery even if you give a little press a lot of dough will come out of the press so make sure you form the dough accordingly now slowly press it like this on the back of a plate or a piece of parchment paper or foil whichever is convenient for you. This is the hardest part of making murukku. So if you find this very hard and if you are not very particular about the shape of the murukku, you can just directly press it into the oil without any particular shape. That's how I usually make murukku because it's much easier than uh, making it in perfect shapes like this. So just press the end so that it doesn't open up when you fry it in the oil. So here you can see that I've made a lot of murukku on tiny pieces of foil. So this is very easy. I'm just going to take one sheet and I'm going to turn it on the back of my spatula and just drop it into the oil like this. So make sure you keep the flame on medium when you fry the murukku because if the oil is too hot, the outside will become brown very soon and the inside will not be well cooked and crispy. So make sure the heat is on medium and uh, fry it until all the bubbles starts to reduce. Once they are done frying, place them on a paper towel to get rid of all the excess oil. Now our crispy murukku is ready. So like I said, if you find it very hard to form the shape of these murukku, you can directly press the dough into the oil. So please do try this. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.